6th of December and today on December Diaries I'll be talking about healing. Now a couple of videos back, I think it was the video before the last one, uh, which is I think today's day 6, so day 4. Day 4's video I was talking about the past and as I was talking about the past, I shared with you one thing that I learned from one of the books that I was reading, which is Letting Go by David Hawkins, in which he talked about healing and how understanding that certain circumstances were supposed to happen in your life starts the healing process and as I talked about it I just felt that there's so much more to healing than just that and there's so much more that I have learned about healing than just that and sometimes I get to share it with people and sometimes I don't get to share it with people. So I thought it would be a good topic to discuss on this forum. I know it's kind of like a one-way discussion, but I just felt that it's something that needs to be talked about because not many people talk about healing. Because if somebody is going through something, they would rather not talk about it firstly. And secondly, if they talk about it, it's more out of anger or venting their emotion that they talk about it. Everybody wants that negative emotion to leave them or just not be there. But nobody wants to do anything about it because we feel we can't do anything about it and that's where I feel that I have learned quite a lot because most of the time people say time heals and so we wait for time to pass but though time does heal I also feel that as humans we take certain steps intentionally or unintentionally to speed up the process and that is very important for the healing process and so the first thing about healing that i have learned which i have practiced unknowingly but i recently found a book as i said letting go which talked about it more in detail and which put words to what i had done so i didn't realize what i had done until i read about it and realized oh this is what i did and so i thought i would share that with you so the first thing is as the title of the book letting go of emotion is one of the steps of beginning the healing process now letting go is very easy to say and i know a lot of you are just nodding to that right now because you believe that it's very easy for a third party person to say that oh just let go of your emotion but it is very hard to do but as david hawkins says in his book there are ways to let go of an emotion and there are ways very different from what we traditionally believe letting go should be we believe letting go should be venting our emotion expressing our emotion and the more we express our emotion the faster it leaves us or we believe that we can only let go of that emotion when circumstances allow us to let go of an emotion so for example if something happened if somebody says sorry or somebody apologizes or circumstances change only then will i be able to let go of this hurt emotion or this angry emotion or, or this jealous emotion so these are the beliefs we have that either we can't let go of the emotion until things change or to let go we need to express our emotions but what david hawkins says and i have not even completed the book i think it's one of the first few chapters where he talks about emotion affecting us which all of us know we know that emotions from certain events or circumstances or something that's happened in our life affect us later on consciously or subconsciously and so he says that the best way to deal with emotions is to accept that emotion and then recognize it for what it is and then let it go and so for that we need to be really in sync with ourselves we need to be really conscious of what we are feeling and that i feel we are very bad at we don't take that time to process an emotion why am i feeling this way what has caused me to feel that way do i really need to feel that way we don't ask ourselves the question we just feel the emotion and we feel it's a part of us and that i believe is where all the problem starts and where all 
our emotions come and land on us and cause us trouble. This is not something that I am making up. This is not something that I am imagining to be true. This is on the basis of research done by a person, David Hawkins, look him up. A person who has done a lot of research on this and he's come to the conclusion that to let go of emotion is to recognize the emotion and then process the emotion and then just let it go. The basic thing is if we let go of emotions, if we let go of emotions after circumstances where we don't have any control over it, we will find ourselves in a better position to start our healing process. But as I said in my earlier video, recognizing that this thing had to happen, recognizing the feeling associated with what happened and then letting it go because you're recognizing that it had to happen. For some reason, it had to happen. And many a times we can look back at it retrospectively and think, oh, this is why it happened. But sometimes it takes many years. And in those many years, you are losing so many opportunities to live a more fuller life just because you're holding on to that emotion that happened probably 10 years back. Many people have so many things that affect them that they are constantly living in fear. They are constantly closing themselves off just because they experience certain emotions at certain point of time, points of time and they have not let it go yet. They're still holding on to it and because of that they're afraid that it will come up again, which, which it will. Anytime something similar to that happens to them again, that emotion will rise up. And so everybody protects themselves and because of that we lose out on so many opportunities. We lose out on experiencing life to the fullest. The second thing is forgiving others. So this is again similar to letting go. It's easier to let go of certain emotions, especially when it's related to people when you can forgive someone. Again, as humans, we hold on to everything and anything. We believe that if somebody has wronged us, they have to apologize to us. Until then, I'm not going to forgive that person. And as I said many times, we have heard this so many times and I'm going to repeat it. If we are pulling a rope, if we are tugging on a rope, tugging on a rope, tugging on a rope, trying to keep it with us, we are the only ones who are going to get hurt. And so this has been repeated so many times. Any self-help person, any parent, any friend will tell you the same thing. But when it comes to us, we are very bad at forgiving because how could that person do this to me? And that is where the ego comes in. And so that is one very important step to start your healing process that forgive people. Understand that people are not God. They make mistakes. Just like you can make a mistake, they can make a mistake. And sometimes they might not know they've made a mistake. So instead of waiting for years and years trying to force them to understand their mistake or trying to make them realize their mistake, it is just better to understand and accept the fact that people are humans. They make mistakes, they are not perfect and forgive them for whatever they've done to you because your emotions are in your control. Your emotions need not be in the control of another person. It does not mean that you are gullible. It does not mean that you are weak. I think that is an understanding that we all have that if I forgive that person that shows that person that I'm weak, that I'm gullible, that people can take advantage of me. That is not true. Obviously, you're going to learn from that. You're going to ensure that it doesn't happen in the future, that another person doesn't take you for a ride. But it also means that you trust people and continue to trust people. And so Forgiving people is such an important step to starting your own healing process because once you take your mind off the other person, you can focus on yourself. You can focus on your life and you can focus on what you need to do to move forward. Another thing that needs to be done if you want to start your healing process is that you need to forgive yourself. Whenever something happens in our life, many times we find ourselves in situations where we beat ourselves up because we think that how stupid was I? How careless was I? How could I have put myself in that situation? How could I have let that happen? And we beat ourselves so much that we come to a point in time where we are so careful. As I said, we are so guarded. We are so 
hardened that we are unable to function in society in a loving and caring way because we see everything with suspicion that is not a life that is not a life because you cannot go through life constantly suspicious about everything and anything it is a life that is so claustrophobic because you will not even think of the good things you'll always think about the bad things so it is very important to forgive yourself to again realize that you are only human that you can make mistakes and you will not repeat this mistake again and that is good enough so don't beat yourself up don't take situations in your life and allow them to hold you because these thoughts that come into your mind every time you go through something are going to be self deprecating thoughts you're going to constantly be putting yourself down and that is not a way to live imagine if your friend could hear the thoughts that you think i bet that that person will be appalled by what you're thinking because we are very harsh with ourselves sometimes and though it is good to correct ourselves though it is good to learn from our mistakes constantly berating ourselves for something we had done maybe 6 years back is going to cause so much problem in our life so forgiving ourselves is as important as forgiving others to ensure that we can start the healing process because as you know even physically if there is a wound and we constantly keep poking at that wound that wound is never going to close up it's always going to remain open because we are constantly poking at it so imagine your hurt imagine whatever you went through all your emotion whenever you had bad times in your life this is the hurt every time you don't let go of your emotion every time you don't forgive others every time you don't forgive yourself your thoughts are constantly poking at the hole at the wound and that's never going to heal up then so it is very important to start the healing process to let go to do all these things and let it be let whatever happened be only then will it close up so i don't know why i'm talking about this today it's something that i suddenly felt i should share with you and so if there is someone out there who is going through this process of being unable to let go of things being unable to start the healing process i really hope that you were able to gain something from this video and if you really want to go in depth in it please read the book letting go by david hawkins i think that will be really helpful but if you just want to listen to this video i really hope you can practice what i said because it is very important to start your healing process in order to move forward and all of us really want to do that we don't want to keep looking back we don't want to keep feeling those emotions time and time again we just want to experience life and life is experience the best when we keep moving forward and so thank you again for watching this video i hope you keep watching my december diaries and i hope that they are all very helpful to you